Hi there, my name is Glenn Steinhardt and I'm a technical product trainer with DocuSign University. In this video I'm going to show you how to implement the IRS W-4 into your DocuSign eSignature account so you can quickly and efficiently begin onboarding new hires. Before we begin, I want to first share with you a very important link that you can use that's going to provide you with resources to continue your learning on this topic and many other associated topics. DocuSign University is your go-to location to find on-demand and self-paced training, just like you're watching right now. But you can also find instructor-led classes on all DocuSign products. So regardless of your learning style, we've got you covered. Now make sure you stick around to the end of this video where I will point out some other relevant videos in DocuSign University about features that can take what you're learning in this video to the next level. The IRS W-4 is an essential document human resources teams must obtain for onboarding new hires, but the standard email and paper processes to get this done are, let's face it, pretty frustrating. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use DocuSign eSignature to eliminate those manual tasks, to help reduce errors, and to ensure that all information that you require on the form is being populated. We need to minimize that time-consuming back and forth with your recipients so we can facilitate productivity within your HR team and stop wasting time repeating tasks. Let's get started. To make it easy, we've already prepared the current IRS W-4 template for you. You can access the template from within DocuSign University through the Templates tab here at the top of the page. This will take you to the templates library, where you can find this and hundreds of other pre-configured templates for upload to your account. You can use the filtering on the left to narrow down your selection and find the one that's most suited to your needs. Once found, select the name of the template here. Next, click the link to download the IRS W-4 form template as a zip file and save it to your computer. Locate that zip file on your computer and double click on it to open up that zip file and expose its folder's contents. The zip file packet contains an instruction guide in PDF form and the eSignature template for the W-4 in the form of a .json file. Set aside the .json file for a moment as we'll soon be uploading that file into our eSignature account. Next, log into your DocuSign eSignature account. We recommend using your demo account if you have one. Using a demo account is a great way to not only configure and test your template configuration, but you can also send practice envelopes from this template without using the paid envelopes in your live or production account. If you don't have a demo account, it's completely free and easy to create. On the demo.docusign.net site, click Sign Up for Free. After entering your information, you'll receive an activation email and your new demo account is ready to go. Click the Templates tab, then select Start Envelope Templates, and then select Upload Template. Select the w4.json file that you extracted earlier. The pre-filled W4 is now a template in your account. This is the time to consider some of the following questions. Who needs to be involved in signing the W4? What happens after the W4 is signed? Where will the document be stored once it's completed? We'll help you answer these and other common questions throughout this process, but note that each step of preparing for the W-4 is customizable to fit your department's protocol. Click the ellipses next to the Use button, then select Edit to set up your template. First, customize your template. Let's start simple with the title. You can name your template so it's easy for you and your coworkers to identify. You can also use additional notes here that are only visible to you and the other eSignature users, not the new hire that you're sending this to. Next is the Add Documents section. Your W-4 is already here. This is the spot where you can add additional documents for the new hire, like an offer letter, or the I-9, or any other relevant documentation that you want to share. Both the I-9 and offer letter, by the way, are also created as pre-configured templates that you could download from the template library in DocuSign University. The next section is Add Recipients. You might consider changing the list of recipients on this template. Remember, all signers and senders will automatically receive a copy of this completed W-4. 
So some questions to consider at this point are, who needs a copy of the completed W-4? Do you want to add additional authentication to identify the recipient? What message do you want to include in your new hire's email notification? Many HR onboarding specialists choose to add their department's distribution list as a CC recipient. So regardless of who sent the document, everyone will be notified so they can view and process the completed W-4. You'll find a set signing order option here for this template. This means you can set up a specific signing order or flow. When checked, this template's signing order will be configured to have the new hire sign first and after that signature is complete, the document is then routed to the HR department. Adding recipient authentication is common for tax forms like the W-4, especially for new hires to an organization. If your DocuSign plan supports it, consider adding one of these additional authentication options for the recipient. Popular authentication options for HR teams are SMS, knowledge-based authentication, and identity verification. The final section is Add Message. This is where you can customize the subject line and email that your new hire will receive. You'll see the New Hire Username in brackets in the subject line. This feature is called a Merge field, and it will automatically insert the new hire's name in the subject line when you send the W-4. If you click the Merge arrow on the right, you can see all of the options for data that you can merge into the subject line. In this case, Adding the new hire's name in the subject line will make finding and managing the completed document from within the Agreements tab easier for you and your team. There are additional helpful workflow features that could be found in Advanced Options. Perhaps two of the most useful of these advanced options for HR teams are Reminders and Expirations. Getting the W-4 back from your new hire in a timely fashion is critical but we know that sometimes emails are overlooked. Assigning a reminder schedule ensures your new hires get reminded to sign and return the W-4. You can also add expiration to this envelope, preventing the W-4 from being signed after your set number of days. Click Save after you've selected the advanced options needed. Now, we're ready to review the W-4 itself. As you can see, the W-4 already has fields added. This is the time to think about the sign stage of the process and consider the following questions. What sections do new hires often miss in the paper process? What are the best fields to use to help guide your new hire through the document? And how can we prevent errors? As you scroll through the W-4, notice there are fields that are solid yellow and fields that have just a yellow outline. When you click on any field, the Properties panel shows up on the right side. One of those properties is Required Field. Solid yellow fields are marked as Required, meaning that the new hire cannot complete the document unless data is entered into that field. Yellow outline fields are not marked as Required and are considered Optional. These are good for data that might not be relevant or necessary for some recipients to fill out. You can easily change fields from required to optional or optional to required just by checking this box here. Let's have a look at another important field property using the social security number field as an example. In the properties for this field, locate and click the validation property. Notice the validation option is SSN. This means the new hire must put in a nine-digit social security number. The field won't accept anything other than nine digits. This is an example of how you can set up the fields on your template to prevent common errors. Other common validations include email, date, and zip code format. The W-4 template is configured to guide your new hires through the fields and help them enter data correctly. Fields like drop-downs, radio buttons, and formulas are easy to create and configure to ensure your signers get everything right the first time. Again, because they can be marked as required, this will ensure the recipient won't be able to complete and submit until those fields are populated. 
You'll also see each field has another property associated to it called a data label. Labeling or naming each of your fields is helpful for many reasons, but particularly helpful when configuring radio buttons and formula fields. It's also valuable when exporting the data after signing, as these labels will also exist as your CSV column headers in your export. Once you review the W-4 to ensure it meets your department's compliance standards, click Save and Close in the bottom right corner. That's it. Your template is ready to go. Now, before you start sending to new hires, it's recommended to test the template. As a reminder, we're still working in our demo account, so there's no need to worry about wasting an envelope in our testing. To test it, click Use from the My Templates screen. Because you saved this W-4 template, you don't have to add documents, add recipients, update the reminders, or anything as you normally would when creating an envelope from scratch. You simply enter the email address of your recipient, who is in this case your new hire. Because this is a test, you can insert your email here as the new hire, or use any email that you'll be able to access. Now click Send. Review the email message and the W-4 as a signer. As you go through the W-4, ensure the fields function as you'd expect, and that you can successfully sign the document. Now let's review how to manage in-flight or completed envelopes. For an envelope that was sent but not yet completed, you have the option to correct information in that envelope if needed. Why would you need to correct an envelope? Perhaps a mistake was made with the spelling of the new hire's name or email address. If the envelope has not yet been completed, you have time to correct it. To make a correction, navigate to Agreements and locate the envelope that needs a correction. Click the ellipses beside Sign, and then Correct. You can correct the recipient, email message, and any advanced options on the first screen. The template screen is next, and any corrections like adding, deleting, or moving fields can be done from here. Once you're done, click Correct, and your changes are updated. The corrected envelope is resent to the recipient. Back on the Agreements tab, you can see the status of all of your in-flight and completed documents. The toolbar on the left enables you to review all of your sent document statuses. Click the Show More option to show all statuses of envelopes to see if, for example, any are about to expire, or if the new hire failed the assigned authentication. Notice how every W-4 has the new hire's name in the subject line. This was automatically added when we added the merge field to the subject line when we created the template. This makes it easier for you, the sender, to locate the correct new hire paperwork here in your DocuSign account. Finally, let's take a look at a completed document. At this point, you can manually download the signed W-4 by clicking on the download button here. When you select the ellipses next to the download button, there are other options available, like reviewing document history, viewing and downloading the form data, or exporting the field data as a CSV. For example, many HR teams export the field data to store it in their preferred HRIS platform. If you use a third-party storage application like SharePoint or Google Drive, you can easily link those apps using our eSignature Agreement Actions feature, and I'll show you how you can get started with Agreement Actions at the end of this video. Now that you've tested your W-4 template and considered the entire process from preparing your template to managing completed documents, it's time to move your W-4 template from your demo environment into your DocuSign eSignature production environment. To accomplish this, navigate to the template on the Templates tab and click on the ellipses next to the Use button for this template. Then click Download. The template downloads as a zip file, just like we've seen when we downloaded the original template from the template library at DocuSign University. However, when double-clicking on this zip file to open it, it will contain only the .json file of our completed template. Next, log into your production account and upload the template using the same steps as we did when uploading the original W4 template. Click Start, Envelope Templates, Upload a Template. To share this template with other users, 
click on the ellipses and select Share with Users. Select the users or groups of users that you want to share this template with. While sharing this template with other users will give them access to use the template and deliver envelopes from it, you as the creator may decide to relinquish control for updating this template to another user should future updates be required. You can transfer ownership of this template by selecting the ellipses here and choosing the Transfer Ownership option and then selecting a new user. From this point forward, that new user will be the new owner of this template for future updating. You will no longer receive any envelope responses once the transfer of ownership to a new user has been made. You're now ready to go live with the W4. In this video, we covered only the core eSignature configuration for sending a W4 from your account but there are many other opportunities to use additional DocuSign features and further enhance this use case. For example, you might consider converting this template to a web form. Doing so will let you transform an eSignature template into a more personalized and dynamic signing experience for your recipients through the use of conditional fields. This allows you to only show the fields necessary to your recipients based on their previous responses within the form. Web forms can also be accessed by your recipients directly from your website, eliminating the need for your HR team to initiate the envelope process. For a free webinar on how to create a web form, search DocuSign University for the phrase Web Forms for DocuSign eSignature. You may recall from earlier in the video, I mentioned a feature called Agreement Actions. Agreement Actions can help you manage the time consuming post signature activity after your envelope has been completed. Using agreement actions, eSignature can automatically rename your completed document and then store it in a third-party location like Google Drive or Dropbox. Agreement actions can additionally be configured to immediately deliver a follow-up envelope to your new hire containing, for example, an I-9 document or any other relevant new hire document that shouldn't be delivered until we first receive a completed W-4. For a free webinar with information on agreement actions, search DocuSign University for the phrase Eliminate Manual Tasks with DocuSign eSignature. If you still have questions about templates or anything mentioned in this video, please contact your DocuSign account representative if you have one. Or you can always access the support center from right within your eSignature account. You can also get many of your questions answered from within our DocuSign community. Whether you're looking for tips, tricks, or troubleshooting advice, our community site is here to provide a comprehensive source of information and support, as well as a wealth of resources to help you maximize the potential of DocuSign Intelligent Agreement Management. Using the steps described in this video, I hope you can see how DocuSign eSignature can help to facilitate productivity within your HR team. Through these videos and our very popular live online training sessions, the trainers here at DocuSign University work hard to bring you the skills and the tools that you can use to help you be more efficient in your workday. I very much look forward to seeing you in class so I can show you what else you can accomplish with your DocuSign account. I'll see you soon.